Can, Can you tell, tell who amongst, amongst us is generated, generated by AI, AI and who is real? Well, well soon, soon news readers could be replaced, replaced by, AI, by technology. AI technology. Just so you're clear, I am not AI based, but she is. I am a computer generated person that doesn't exist in reality. AI taking over the news must have seemed bizarre a couple of years ago, but right now it's a reality. In fact, China has been doing it for quite some time. In 2018, China's state run Xinhua News Agency launched an artificial intelligence anchor. Hello, everyone. I'm an English artificial intelligence anchor. This is my very first day in Xinhua News Agency. AI tech opens up a plethora of options for being used for good. But on the flip side, it's hampering people's ability to tell reality from online forgeries. Two broadcasters for a news outlet called Wolf News are not real people. China is using AI deepfake avatars as news anchors to spread disinformation. Graphica, a New York-based research firm, has uncovered a pro-Chinese campaign using digital avatars to promote the interests of Chinese Communist Party, while also bashing the United States government on issues like gun violence. And this is huge, because it raises concerns previously highlighted by cyber experts that AI can be misused for political games. Deepfakes are media generated or edited by artificial intelligence and super easy to create now. They are open source packages available online that allow the creation of avatars of fictitious people easily. For instance, look at these Tom Cruise deepfakes. You cannot make out that it's not really him. Graphica observed instances of pro-China misinformation campaign known as Spamouflage. In these campaigns, political spam accounts plant content online and then use other accounts that are part of the network to amplify the material across various platforms. Now, these two fake world news broadcasters were created by Synthesia, a five-year-old AI video creation startup. Synthesia sells over 65 digital avatars in 120 languages and accents to clients which range from multinational companies like Reuters, Accenture, Amazon, and many others. The entire process is as easy as writing an email. This is what Synthesia writes on its own website. The software, which costs as little as $30 a month, produces videos in minutes that are mostly used for education, marketing, human resources, and training. The website further adds how for ethical reasons it will not offer the software for public use and that all content will go through an explicit internal screening process before being released to their trusted clients. It also says that political, sexual, personal, criminal and discriminatory content is not tolerated or approved. But as we can see, disinformation peddlers will continue experimenting with AI software. So the next time you come across a video, you might want to take a closer look. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.